So this is my cherry shrimp tank and that is a planaria. These little worm like guys that have kind of a hook shaped head or pointed shaped head. Um, let's see, there's another crawling up here. The other day there were tons of them all over here and I started to uh, medicate the tank to try and get rid of them and noticed last night that it hadn't eradicated all of them and I still have some but I ran out of the medication I was using and I'll get to that in a second but first uh, I've never filmed this tank so yeah this is my cherry shrimp tank I also have some uh, chili rasboras and phoenix rasboras which look very much the same um, and as well I also have Cajun dwarf crayfish like this little guy right here um, other than that I think I have uh, Malaysian trumpet snails some ram's horns and one or two large apple snails or mystery snails. There's one of them with the cherry shrimp neocaridina crawling all over him. But as I said a moment ago, um, I had run out of the medication I was using, which was fenbendazole, which is what I recommend for getting rid of uh, planaria. I went to the uh, the pet store that I work at and my boss was telling me to use some of this Prazi Pro which apparently does work for them but uh, I figured I should keep going with what I started with which is Fenbendazole you can get it in dog dewormer uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a little bit and dose this tank again in one second okay so you want to get just a, a little cup or something and get a little bit of your tank water or you can get uh, some dechlorinated water and then you want to take one of these little packets and some people measure exactly how much they're gonna put in uh, but I found this does not harm my shrimp at all and I've been told that it will often kill off snails but I've dosed many times and never killed any of the kind of snails that I keep so you're gonna want to dump in just a little bit definitely not the whole package but uh, yeah just put a little bit in mix it up and you're gonna want to wait for it to dissolve in the water at least somewhat and yeah give me a second I'm gonna let this dissolve a bit and then we're gonna dose so now that it's been sitting for a bit um, it's kind of more broken down in there but it doesn't really matter that much you can also let it kind of dissolve in uh, in the tank and for dosing I mean these come in what yeah, one gram packets and I've gone as far as using a half a packet or more on a 10 gallon tank and not had any problems only thing that died was the planaria but from reading around the internet I mean people usually start way lower than that and when you dissolve some of it into here I mean you can take a pipette and just kind of dose it and just see it's it's gonna dissolve a lot more while in the tank but I like to spray it around just uh, near where I see the planaria and honestly after one or two doses uh, that usually takes care of all of them for me I've taken care of planaria gotten rid of planaria like two or three times recently in different shrimp tanks um, and usually once I eliminate it from a shrimp tank uh, they never really come back and yeah um, just spray uh, put a good amount of this in there and you know wait a day or wait 12 hours or so and see if you start to notice the uh, planaria dying they'll kind of just stretch out and 
die on the glass or sometimes they'll fall down and uh, usually uh, the fish or snails or shrimp will eat the dead bodies of them and clean it up yourself or you can uh, gravel vac which I really need to do in this tank I haven't cleaned this in quite a while as you can see um, yeah so that's about all just uh, you know dose it a few times and wait and hopefully they'll be gone in uh, about a day